it seems such a short time since last Christmas. Have you bought your presents yet, lady? Well, I've got some of them, but still more to go. What about you, Gordon? Are you looking forward to the festivities? As far as I'm concerned, Christmas is a real pain. Waste of money and bar humbug. Surely, Gordon, it's the season of goodwill and general bonhomie. All I'm interested in is doing my job, running the express efficiently through the snow without being bothered by you lesser engines. It was three days before Christmas and the engines were settling down for the night. A mist appeared and there stood a ghostly Sir Topham hat-like figure. Who's that? What's going on? Gordon, over the next three nights you will be visited by three ghosts, including me. I am Sir Topham's father, Lord Douglas Hatt. You may remember I brought you from the mainland to this island. I am going to take you back to your Christmas past. Gordon was very shaken and thought he must be dreaming. Ooh, ooh, go away, spirit. Lord Douglas is dead. I can't do that, Gordon. It's important for you to understand the meaning of Christmas. The ghost took Gordon back to a Christmas when he was a younger engine. Oh, hello. My name is Gordon and I've just arrived on this island. What's your name? Emily. And welcome to Sodor, Gordon. Gordon was pleased he had made a friend already. I've got to find my way around. Why don't we make it a double header on the express and I can show you some sights and sounds. But Gordon wasn't interested. He wanted all the glory of pulling the express himself. See Gordon, another lost opportunity. Gordon woke with a start the next morning after his very eventful night. Oh, 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 where am I? Where am I? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Gordon, you look as if you've seen a ghost. Happy Christmas, Gordon. It's not yet Christmas and I'm certainly not happy. Oh, oh, sorry I spoke. Oh, there's no need to be so miserable. Gordon went on to the turntable and disappeared in a huff. Ooh, Gordon doesn't half put a damper on Christmas. He's particularly miserable this time of year. Just ignore him. He's always like this, just when the rest of us want to celebrate. Sir Topham was in his car at the level crossing, waiting for the express to come through. When it did, it came through at such a speed that Sir Topham's car nearly blew off the road. Well, bless me, that train was going some. I shall have a word with Gordon about speeding. Back at Tidmouth Sheds, Gordon was nervous after what the ghost had told him the previous night. Oh, 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 oh. Who's that? Show yourself. I am the ghost of Christmas present, and I want to show you what you are missing. The other engines were in Tidmouth sidings at their annual Christmas party. They were all having such fun. Oh, Thomas, what a great party! Why isn't Gordon here? Well, you know what he's like at Christmas, just keeps himself to himself. Feel like you're missing out, Gordon? Well, I must admit, they do seem to be enjoying themselves. It was Christmas Eve and the engines were excited at the prospect of the next day. Well, night night all, see you in the morning. Gordon knew he was to have an uninvited guest during the night and wondered where the new ghost would take him. He didn't have to wait very long before the mist appeared again. Unlike the other two spirits, this one was completely black 
and certainly not very friendly. Follow me. I am the ghost of Christmas future and I will show you what fate has in store for you if you don't change your ways. Gordon looked down on a desolate scene in the Sodor scrapyard where the old engines are taken at the end of their usefulness. He saw himself waiting with paint peeling off for his turn to be scrapped. Oh, please, please, dear ghost, don't let me see any more. I know what I have to do. It was Christmas morning, the only day on Sodor when the trains didn't run. Everyone was there except for Gordon. Happy Christmas to you all. I see Gordon isn't here again. Never mind, let's get on with the festivities. Just at that moment, a hooter sounded in the distance and Gordon arrived full of exuberance. I thought you didn't do Christmas, Gordon. Whatever gave you that idea, Sir Topham? Happy Christmas to one and all. I love Christmas. This is going to be the best ever. <laughs> <laughs>